Good morning, guys. We are starting off this day as I usually do in the spring, sitting on my front porch, drinking coffee and reading my daily devotional, which is right now um, the Jesus Calling book. I have several of these, um, but we're doing the Jesus Always. Um, and the kids, Mia is still sleeping, but the kids are inside as they always are. I always lay out a blanket for them and they drink milk, eat dry cereal, they watch the iPad or sometimes they'll watch the TV and they'll do that for maybe an hour or so just to get, you know, the sleep to go so away. So it's Monday and on and at eight o'clock, our vacuum comes out, like our little Roomba vacuum. That guy. He's actually a shark, shark brand. So um, the kids know that at eight o'clock when that, Eli? It's just me, Eli. <laughs> You're so silly. So at eight o'clock, the kids know when the vacuum pops out, they have to clean up their toys and um, we're gonna get done with chores first on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays because that's when the vacuum pops out and cleans the upper floor. And then we hop into our table time. chore chart they made up and redid and Eden go ahead what are you doing today on Monday I am doing making my bed cleaning basement bathroom sinks floor, and counter um, feed mats and clean basement living room. Okay. It's a lot. It is. There is more on there. All right, Mia, let's see what yours is. On um, Monday. Ready? It says to make your bed, clean your bedroom and your closet, and empty house garbages. All right? So we're going to go over that together, you silly goose. And we're going to get that done, okay? All right, Eli, yours for a Monday is to make your bed, clean up the living room and dining room, and do the recycling.
So girls, the last thing that you have to do that's not on your chore, but it's part of living life is put away your clothes that I cleaned and fold for you. All right, so go ahead and do first, that. I'm gonna do the garbage cans. Well, let's do the clothes first together and then we'll do garbage cans, okay? That's so Now together, let's clean. Hi, so I'm the... The last thing you have to do is the Garbage. garbages, all of the little garbages throughout the house. So here's your bag. Veggie straws. Veggie straws. Okay, this you can have some. So weird. Okay. All right. We are going to. This is the first time you've ever done the garbages. Your big sister usually does. all the garbages let's wash our hands with soap and water because we touched a bunch of garbage okay all right the last thing on your list Eden is to clean up the basement living room and it's actually not that bad just some stuff on the table blankets Make the couch look as good as it can. And all the stuff on the stairs. All right, so when the kids are finished with their chores, obviously I'm assisting them as much as possible, especially with the little ones. Then I do my chore and I let the kids play for as long as it takes for me to clean the kitchen. And then we start our morning time.
All right, Eden and Mia, what are we doing before we do table time? We're roasting bread. Roasting bread? Do we Toasting roast bread? bread? Toasting bread, because we have to do table time with what? Food, you don't right? Do anything. It's okay, now let Mia do her two slices. We got this. Trace it with your finger first. Good. Now put an arrow 
on the end. But that's not how it goes. I know, I know. All right, do it's you want too me to? hard. It's not me, we're just rushing. Could I help you by holding your hand? Would that make you feel better? I think you're doing good because the other one has So ready? Oh, we're not holding a pencil correctly, so that will be difficult for you. So ready? Follow my finger. Start here. And go really this. Slow. Great stop. Not with an arrow on it. Woohoo! Good job for not rushing. It's like a V. You put a letter V at the end. Perfect. Just like that. Alright. The next one has a loop to loop. Do you want to trace it with your finger first? Hey, buddy. Can I help you? Yeah.
So we just finished a really um, crazy table time. Some days it's awesome and some days it is just fit with, you know, tantrums and things like that. And you just take a deep breath. You just say, you know what, we're gonna do it again tomorrow and don't force it, especially when your kids are this young. So I just cleaned off the homeschool table and um, I'm headed to go get dressed. Um, today is obviously a dance day and so our schedule or our rhythm actually is a lot different than it would be on a day that I'm not teaching dance. So the kids are gonna do their thing in the back. I'm gonna head to the bathroom and just do a really quick, you know, get dressed and whatever. All right, we are headed outside. Now that everyone is dressed, um, we are going to walk the dog. We typically always walk the dog. Um, we typically always walk the dog after morning time chores and getting dressed. So let's take care of our pup. Oh my. I think I stepped on it. Your mealworm? I saw a new one beetle under there, but it dug away. Oh. And there's the alive worm who is the only survivor. The only survivor of the worms from yesterday? No. Oh my. I, I think I saw something Are we ready to walk the dog? Where is it? Now you guys, um, we put all our scooters in the backyard, so you can either walk with your feet, or you can go to the back and get scooters and bicycles and push it up the hill. What are you going to do? All right. And we are off.
just finished our walk and the kids are going to play outside because it's just a gorgeous morning and I'm going to head in to do a few things before we start our school. I don't know about you guys, but laundry is always a battle. So I like to do one load of laundry every day. Um, I can't say I always get it folded, but at least I can get it washed and dried. Um, and that is always the goal to get one load of laundry done every day. Like I said, the kids are playing outside. So now's my chance to throw this in and get it done. All right, so it is just so beautiful outside that even though we just walked the dog and I threw in my load of laundry, I have just decided that, you know what? We are going to do our school outside in the backyard in the sunshine. That is something I just love to do in the summer and I do it all the time. Um, so, you know, the beauties of homeschooling, let's do it. And hopefully because we're outside and it's a different, um, space than just in our home. Hopefully Mia will feel more engaged to do some of her work. And if she doesn't, I'm not going to force it. She's only four years old. So some days she is a rock star and just like gets it done. And other days she is very emotional. She is a huge perfectionist and she just has her meltdowns. And you know what? It is what it is. And I just don't worry about it, but let's go outside and get set up for school.
and you won't be in the wind. Here, do you want me to pull the chair up for you? Give me a big kiss. This chair is wobbly. It is a little wobbly, sorry about that. But at least we won't be in the wind, but we'll still be nice and warm. It feels like we're outside. All right. If you feel frustrated, Mia, we're going to take a big breath, okay? Because... It's just today I really cry. No, do we have those big feelings? We just like feel like we want to cry? We get frustrated? Thank you for telling me that. I don't know unless you tell me with your words, okay? Can I have a big hug? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love you. So today we're feeling like we just want to cry. Thanks for sharing that. Thank you. But I'm here so we don't have to cry, all right? You choose. We're going to do all three of these, but you get to pick the order, okay? How do I have three? our handwriting that we didn't finish at table time and only the letters no swigglies and nothing that you think is hard okay so you have handwriting i only want you to read one of these passages from our reading assessment is all is my whole book done oh no we just started our kindergarten book but you already read this passage in the center so you can either choose the poem or you can choose this passage or you can do math first what would you like I know, isn't that exciting? Just that more, much paper. All right, here, start with one candy. Grab a candy. This one. Okay. Take a deep breath. You choose. You're in control. Okay, ready? Read one little section or math. What would you like first? Two. Did you want me to do this? Yes. <laughs> Which one do you want to do first? Math. All right, I'm busting out math. Because I only want to do math first. And that's fine, you can always do math first. What number is this? Six. Six, grab any She just did her handwriting first. Do you want to read one small passage? Or I did not know it even had handwriting. Yep. And then, or do you want to do your handwriting? What would you like? Passage or handwriting? Passage. Passage. All right. Now you can choose. Do you want to read this passage down here, or do you want to read the poem up here? I will help you with the words that you do not know. There are a lot of Last words time in there I read you don't know. These too. You read this passage. But now we're going to, I'm going to help, we're going to do this one. Ready? Here we go. Mom and Dad are the best. High five. All right, pick one. Any you want? day we will read this poem which is way more suited than this passage down below. All right, and the last thing we're gonna do is just finish these O's, S's, and C's, which I know you can do. And you can use your marker if you like. color this picture at all? No. Okay, you can go play with Henry now. Yay. Let's take the and dump them all out on here, okay? Alright. Alright, can you put your booty over here? What is that? Alright, 
a leapfrog movie, him and Mia, and while I make lunch, and then we'll keep moving on with the day. Bless us, O Lord, in these thy gifts that we're about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Mia, why aren't you thanking the Lord for your food? I am. You want to say the prayer again? Because you didn't say it. I did. You say, thank you, Lord, for our food. Amen. You silly goose. Thank you. 
wipe your mouth. Grab a water bottle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I the kids just finished lunch. Um, I just eat whatever they eat, nothing special. And then um, my husband just left. He comes home for lunch on days that I have dance and he takes my little guy, Eli, my three-year-old with him um, for the day back to work. And now that I've done our read aloud, we've gotten all our school done. The kids have played a lot during the day. I am now going to head downstairs into my office and I'm going to just send a bunch of emails and get all my dance stuff done before I have classes tonight. It is now um, 10 to 1. So um, we started at 8 o'clock in the morning. It's now 10 minutes until 1 o'clock. And that is pretty much how our days go. We're pretty much done with all of our school and everything. Um, by lunchtime or very shortly after lunchtime, the girls are just gonna play and do whatever they want really um, until it's time to leave for dance. All right, we are headed to dance. That is pretty much our whole day. You guys wave bye. All right, have a good day guys.